So moving on with the series here for the Illusion Free Phase range, Tim, we're going to be talking about can we install this particular board in a domestic setting, reasons why we can, um, also talking about some of the reasons why, you, if you can, you would need to install it. EV, PV, battery storage, that type of arrangement. We're seeing lots of loads being increased, air source, heat pumps, and, and so on. So I pretty, probably want to pose the question of, can we install a free phase board in a domestic setting? Why not? Of course. Yes. No problem. Uh, either should we, we end the video there? We could, we could end the video there. <laughs> either you're going to have a, a, a domestic setting where it's got a three phase supply anyway. Yep. At which point, why not? It's a, it's designed to be SEN 61439 Part Three, which is uh, allowing for uh, use by ordinary persons. So okay. it sits within that range. Uh, and I think you were telling me it's got a conversion kit. It has indeed. At yeah. which point you can convert a three-phase board to a single-phase board and you've just got more space. And, and as you touched on the merging technologies with <coughs> increased loads and the rest of it, it's a bit more space in terms of movement of heat around the board. Uh, and, and, and that is of help. Okay, so we can see that you know we're not moving away from the single phase 100 amp board, we can also start to include this into some of the properties. You know, if you're like working in large domestics, um, and, and it does seem like a bit of a, an obvious question, can we do it? Um, but sometimes people just, you know, they don't know what's out there in front of them. So, you know, just really emphasizing on the point there that you can install these three phase boards inside a domestic setting.